So the very first thing you need to do when making a scientific poster is decide which software to use to make the thing. You've got several different options. Popular programs include Microsoft PowerPoint, Adobe Photoshop, or Illustrator. We prefer using Microsoft PowerPoint. It's incredibly easy to use. There are tons of free templates that you can download online, and just about everyone already has a copy of it. Adobe products are more geared towards graphic artists. They're expensive and they come with a huge learning curve, so stick with PowerPoint. In fact, for the rest of these videos, we'll be using PowerPoint to create our poster. The next thing you'll want to do is determine what size your poster will be. We'll cover poster sizes in detail in another video. Once you know that you'll be creating a poster in PowerPoint and you know what size your poster will be, you need to determine if you're going to design the poster from scratch or use a poster template. We strongly suggest using poster templates. They're set up in the proper proportion, have predefined colors that look good, and you can usually find a template that's free. Once you've found a good template to use, it really just comes down to copying and pasting in your data and tweaking it a little bit here and there to make sure it looks just the way you want. You shouldn't have any trouble finding a ton of free poster templates online. You can just go to Google and type in scientific research poster templates and you'll see some available. As a matter of fact, you'll see the MikeSigns.com templates listed right there. Uh, just click and look at our templates. We've put together a pretty good sized list of free templates you can use. They come in various shapes and sizes, so you're sure to find something that suits your needs. Each of our templates has a range of color options included in them, so if you see a template that has a layout that you like, but maybe you aren't thrilled about the colors, don't worry, we'll show you how to change the colors with just a quick click of the mouse. I should also mention we offer a free service to schools and organizations where we'll host your custom poster templates on our website. So if you're a school, for instance, and you want your students to use a specific template with your logo and colors, we'll create templates free of charge. You can see if I click, for instance, the University of Indianapolis link here, we've got their posters that all have the same general color scheme as well as their logos. If you're interested in custom templates, just click the contact link on any page and let us know, or you can call us toll free. So getting back to the regular templates, let's go ahead and pick one and download it, then open it up in PowerPoint. All you have to do is click the little Choose a Size tab under the template that you want, then click the size that you're looking for. Don't worry, we'll get into sizes soon. For now, let's just save this to our computer and then open it up and take a quick look. You'll want to download and save the file rather than immediately opening it in PowerPoint. We just save the file here. Then we can find the downloaded file wherever we saved it on our computer and double click it to open it up in PowerPoint. Either way, you don't need to open PowerPoint beforehand as long as you've got the software installed on your computer. It should start automatically when you click on the template file. Alternatively, you can start PowerPoint first, then locate and open the file as well. And there you go. Now you can see there's not a whole lot on this template at the moment. You'll see that there's a rectangle on the slide containing some information and instructions. After you've read the information, just click on the red border and hit the delete key to delete the rectangle. Now you'll see the base template. It doesn't have all of the text that was on the image on our website because we haven't put any data in there yet, but we'll do that soon enough. Right now I just want to familiarize you with the basic layout of PowerPoint if you're not already familiar. And as you can see, it's easy to start putting in the data. Just click a section and it activates. Then you can either type in what you want or copy and paste. 